a rapper, actors, and a Broadway star, for one reason or another parted ways from their jobs for refusing to get vaccinated. In November of 2021, General Hospital fans were shocked to discover longtime star Steve Burton, who portrayed Jason Morgan on the drama for 30 years, had been fired from the series following his refusal to get the COVID-19 vaccine. The actor said as much via an Instagram post in which he stated, Hey, I wanted you to hear it from me. I love and appreciate all of you. Unfortunately, General Hospital has let me go because of the vaccine mandate. I did apply for my medical and religious exemptions and both of those were denied, which, you know, hurts. Per deadline, Burton tested positive for COVID-19 in August, but he explained how his decision not to get the vaccine came down to personal freedom. Uh, I don't think anybody should lose their livelihood over this. Burton doesn't rule out a return to General Hospital, although his character was presumably killed off in an episode that aired shortly before his Instagram comments. As it turns out, Steve Burton wasn't the only General Hospital star who refused the COVID-19 vaccine. Fellow actor Ingo Rademacher, who had starred as Jasper Jacks on the series since 1996, likewise attempted to file a religious exemption and was quickly denied and fired from the show. Rolling Stone published the actor's exemption letter on December 13, 2021. It reads, I am entitled to a religious exemption against mandatory vaccination for COVID-19 on the basis of my moral belief that my body is endowed by my creator with natural processes to protect me, and that cannot ethically be violated by the administration of artificially created copies of genetic material, foreign to nature and experimental. The sudden turn of events opened the door for even more drama when Rademacher filed a lawsuit against ABC, as he felt the COVID-19 protocols were a direct violation of his civil rights. He stated, There is no need for everybody to get the COVID-19 shot, even if the president demands it. The case goes to court in February 2023, according to Radar Online. Following Ingo Rademacher's lead, 911 star Rockman Dunbar likewise filed a lawsuit against Disney and 20th Television for refusing to honor his request for a religious exemption regarding the vaccine. And I said to myself, I can do that too. After portraying Michael Grant for 69 episodes, the actor had his contract terminated in November 2021. That followed his refusal to comply with studio mandates, an action he felt was discriminatory. As such, he attempted to navigate the situation via religious exemption to no avail, leading Dunbar to sue in February 2022. The actor said in a statement to Deadline, I applied for religious and medical accommodations pursuant to the law and unfortunately was denied by my employer. My sincerely held beliefs in private medical history are very intimate and personal aspects of my life that I do not publicly discuss and have no desire to start now. Despite the controversy, Dunbar is scheduled to appear in upcoming productions Red Winter and The Water Boys. Another name that popped up in the wake of the COVID-19 vaccine controversy was Andrea Bordeaux. She revealed on Instagram that she was fired from the Star's Liongate TV series Run the World after failing to follow on-set guidelines. In the post, she discussed how much fun she had working on the production, calling the experience a dream come true and saying that she had no desire to exit the series. Bordeaux wrote in response to a report posted by Deadline, Despite what the article says, I did not opt to leave the series and Lionsgate made no efforts to find a workable solution. I was fired. Bordeaux appeared in all eight episodes of season one of Run the World as Ella. She also had appeared in TV shows such as NCIS Los Angeles, Criminal Minds, and Law & Order Special Victims Unit. According to her IMDb profile, the actor is not slated to appear in any upcoming productions. Ice Cube wasn't fired from the production of the comedy Oh Hell No, which was set to shoot in winter 2021, but he exited the film after turning down the COVID-19 vaccine, according to The Hollywood Reporter. As a result of his exit, Ice Cube lost out on a $9 million payday. If he had stayed on, the movie would have paired him alongside the great Jack Black and Netflix's bad trip director, Kitao Sakurai. Even still, the popular rapper actor was a vocal supporter of mask wearing and even helped support the cause by selling t-shirts inscribed with the phrase, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Ice Cube also ended up departing a Universal Pictures project called Flint Strong, 
which actually filmed for one day before production was put on a hiatus in March 2020, as the spread of COVID began to accelerate. It's not clear why he left that film, which is said to be looking for a new star and possibly studio. As of now, no one has been tapped to replace Ice Cube in Oh Hell No, though Jack Black is currently still aboard. Broadway star Laura Osnes made waves when the New York Post reported that she had been fired from a one-night-only production of Crazy For You for not getting the COVID-19 shot. However, the actor later sued the Post for defamation, according to Forbes, claiming she did not get fired from the show, but rather quit on her own terms. Osnes was hesitant to get the vaccine and ultimately decided to withdraw from the production after learning it would require proof of vaccination. She wrote in a statement, I would have tested in a heartbeat, something I have been doing for months and will continue to do so in order to keep working safely. The actor then added, I believe individuals have the right to do research, consult a doctor, and come to their own conclusions before deciding whether or not to get any injection.